Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create some amazingly simple but effective cloud brushes. Now I won't just be showing you how to rip them from images, I'll also be showing you how to custom make a brush in your brush dynamics. So let's go and have a look at what that entails. So first things first is we need our images to work with. So I'm going to be jumping over to this one right here. So you want to go on the internet and have a look at for clouds, cloud pictures, and look for sort of ones similar to this. So we want a cloud on its own, nothing clustered around it, and loads of blue. So if we can find those, there should be thousands out on the internet. Go and find those and get a collection. So let's have a look at what we need to do once we have our image into Photoshop. We have loads of blue around it, so we need to isolate that cloud. So to do this, we're going to go up to image, we're going to go to adjustments, and then we're going to go down to black and white. From here, we're going to go be playing around with the blues. So we're going to go drag the blues down, and we're going to go and drag the cyans down just a bit. But we don't want to drag it too far down, because as we can see, as when we drag it down we lose some of the bits of the cloud so we need to be very careful so we it's not all covered in black at the moment but we're going to go and sort that out so once we have sort of similar to this we can go and click OK so once we've done that what we're going to do now is go to our brush tool and we're just going to go and make sure we have black selected as our foreground color and we're just going to go and paint all this black so make sure you have that and then once you have painted all of that black around it what we're going to do now is we're going to go and invert it so we want the clan to be black and we want around it to be white so to do this we're going to go and press Control and i or command and i if you have a mac and that changes it to black and white again. So the next thing we're going to do is go up to edit and we're going to go to define brush preset and then that's basically all you have to do. Now if the define brush preset is grayed out that means your image is way too big and it has to be around about 2500 pixels on its longest side. So if, if your image is way too big obviously you can go to image and go to image size and then just scale it down to fit and then go back to edit and define brush preset so click that and you can name your brush whatever you want so let's go for cloud one and then click OK and we're just going to go over to our image here make sure you have white as your foreground color or whatever color you want your cloud you don't have to have it white and then just click and there we have it we have our main fluffy little cloud that we wanted so as I said go and find loads and loads of images that have clouds and then just go and grab them from them now the second step is to make a custom brush within your brush dynamics so we're gonna go and select a really soft brush for this so go up to your brushes select a really soft brush that one now and we're going to go to our brush dynamics now and to do that we can go on the right hand side which you'll see a little symbol if you can't find it go to window at the top and go to brush and we're going to get this right here so we're going to go and play around with some of the settings within this so the first thing we're going to go and play around with is we're going to put the size to around about 500 pixels we're going to put the spacing to around about 30 and obviously you can pause this and check all the settings and the next thing we're going to go to shape dynamics so go to shape and we're going to put the size gear to 100% we're going to put the control to fade and put that to 20 then just underneath it we're going to put it to 20% and put the that would be the minimum diameter sorry and then all the rest we're going to go to zero and off so we don't want to play around with the rest of them the next thing we're going to go to scattering and we want the scatter to be on both axes so make sure that's clicked on we want it to be really around about 120 control to off count to 10 
and the count jitter to 100% and the control off again. As I said, pause it and check your settings. Go to texture and we're going to go down to the text drop down menu and we want to go and select this one right here, clouds. Now this is already a preset within Photoshop so you can obviously find that. So click that and we want the scale to be around about 500. We want the brightness to be minus 10 and the contrast to be 42. We want the texture each tip to be clicked on, mode to be color burn, depth to be 100% and the depth jitter to be a zero and the control to be off. Now the next thing we're gonna play around with is the transfer, click transfer and the opacity jitter is gonna be 100% control to fade and that's going to be set to 25 the minimum is going to be set to zero the flow jitter is going to be set to zero pen pressure for control and the minimum is zero and the rest should be all off so once we have that we're just going to go over here and we're going to go and select our color as i said any color clouds that you want you don't have to just go with white we're going to make a new blank layer always best to do that and we can just go to a brush and we can bring the size up or down depending on how big you want the clouds and then you can just paint the clouds where you want them don't have to be all the same and there we have it we have our custom brush in the brush dynamics so we can save that brush if we wanted to so we can go back to brush dynamics and we'll see a little thing down here and we can go and save that brush for later use. So create new brush, name it whatever you want. So clouds two, and then click okay. If we go back to our brushes, we can find out there. And there's a whole selection of clouds that I've done. So let's go to this cloud right here. As we can see, really effective, really simple, and really easy. So that's it for today's tutorial, guys. Please go comment, rate, and subscribe. Go check out the website, Facebook, and Google+. And if you want to support me, go check out the brand new t-shirts from Photoshop Pro Help. Great designs on there. The link will be in the preview page after this video. So stay tuned and go check those out, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.